We're now going to have a quick look at how you can integrate your Microsoft Office products into the CleverTouch uh, Impact and Impact Plus screens. So from my uh, home screen here in the Lux mode of my screen, if I click onto my uh, apps menu and come onto my Clever Store here, and then from my search menu, I can click on business tools, click on done. And then just in here, you can see you've got the Microsoft applications available for you to download, and they're all free to download directly to your screen. OneNote, PowerPoint, Teams, Word, Excel, etc. They can all be downloaded directly to your screen. So I'm just going to come into my app menu here. And in my app menu on my Clever Touch, I've created a little Microsoft folder. Inside my Microsoft folder, I've got all my applications that I've downloaded, so I can open those and use those. The screen does come with a built-in WPS Office player, which will open loads of your media content, but uh, sometimes you like to get that more in-depth experience from the Microsoft products themselves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to navigate to my cloud account. So if I come to my Files tab, from here, if I click Add and Add Account, I can sign into my OneDrive and access all my resources that are stored online. In good Blue Peter style, here's one I've prepared earlier. So I'm going to come into my documents here. Um, just to give you a quick flavour of what this is like, if I double tap a Word document, I get asked if I'd like to open it with the default WPS Office or my Microsoft application that I've installed. I'm going to do that, and that's now going to open up my document directly on screen. From here, obviously, nice and nice, large uh, presentation for you to show your pupils. Here, I can use my Microsoft, uh, my kind of Clever Touch overlay tools at this point, and I can use those uh, as an annotation tool to annotate over the top of my resources without actually affecting the resources that are behind. Or, if I come and click up at the top, I can use my Draw tab and click on my finger option up at the top, and then from here, you can see, again, I've got different color pens where I can make annotations and embed those annotations directly into my PowerPoint itself. So giving you that flexibility of embedding those annotations in your screen or using the, micro, the uh, Clever Touch overlay screen tools where I can make annotations and erase those. If I did need to save my Clever Touch annotations, obviously I can use my annotation tools here and save those to my screen with my floppy disk icon or push them out to my audience with a QR code or save them directly as a screenshot back to my uh, cloud account that I've linked in. Okay, so a nice flexible way that you can work there. I'm just gonna come back to my files menu and open up again from my cloud account, just gonna open up a PowerPoint. Again, the option to open with the default WPS media player or the inbuilt PowerPoint that I've downloaded free of charge. And from here, you can see I have the option, if I need to, to edit my PowerPoints directly at the front of the screen, giving me that flexibility there. And again, if I need to go full screen on here, then I can go full screen with my presentation mode from here. Use my Clever Touch overlay tools on the top of my PowerPoint and make annotations in here and save those accordingly. Or if I need to, swipe backwards and forwards through my pages to move through my PowerPoint presentation there as well. So again, as, as with the option with my Microsoft Word, I can use my finger tool here and my overlay tools, and I can make annotations and embed those into the PowerPoint itself. Highlighter tools again, also built in as well, where it can save those annotations so that they're, re they're ready for me to use the next time. Or again, I have my Clever Touch overlay tools that I can use here in conjunction as well tools like my snipping tool as well, where I can take content from here and take it back out into my whiteboarding application.